Good morning, people. It's 9.18 a.m. as a follow-up to my last video upon examining the fiscal evidence. It's 9.18 a.m. in the morning, Monday. Okay, as far as our A and B wave concerned and C wave, that is still intact. Okay. Now, I thought this would be the beginning of the new A wave, but there was a dump yesterday for 20,000 Bitcoin cards. But we have not broken below this A wave here. So everything is still intact except for this anomaly that happened to us. But now we're at the beginning of it all over again. <coughs> so I think what I think we're looking at is a bear trap. And the, the reason why why I say that, <coughs> they used the C wave and this, uh, they closed 20,000 Bitcoin shorts, yet the price is still gone down. Why would a big player close 20,000 shorts unless he didn't want to lose any money? So he closed his shorts because he expects the trend to go up. I think what we're seeing now is largely Zeta. This is the resistance. We haven't broken through it. We're still at the top. We're still at the top of the A wave, which signifies to me we're going to go back into a new A wave. This was this could be uh, considered part of the A wave, but you have to understand there was an anomaly with that twenty thousand Bitcoin shorts being closed. So yes, that did affect the market. But I think what they did is that they tried to do it uh, silently. As this, they set up a bear trap. This is what it looks like to me—a bear trap. When you look at it, the RSI we weren't oversold. We were brought back down. This is a bear trap. Because if you were, if it was a regular uh, bear movement, they would, the bears would have the sense to let the market go into an oversold position, like over here, to successfully get, gather momentum to bring it down really low. <clears throat> so I think whoever sold off those twenty thousand BTC shorts who closed them knew they would generate this, uh, uh, and that's. That's all you see now. If you want to see the results of what they were planning, you just go on to YouTube and everybody's, oh, bear market, return of the bear, 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 bear. And, you know, every time we hear these certain YouTube YouTubers saying certain stuff, they're always wrong. They're being, in other words, they're victims of being misled too. Because, because I'll explain it to you here using graphs. In their own TNA, in their own style. Remember, I said the A wave, B wave, C wave, right? And then we go back up to the A wave. That Bitcoin uh, short, or Bitcoin short closing, we brought us back to the top of the A wave, which means we didn't break resistance to go down. To break resistance, we'd have to be about 111. You see, past the previous A wave, down here. We'd have to break that. We haven't. We haven't even been able even to breach the top of the alpha wave. Alpha, beta, gamma. Alpha, beta, gamma. <coughs> now, we had an alpha go up. We were going in the right direction, but then we had that shorts closing. So that brought us down. And which that gave out the false signal of a bear market, which makes this a bear trap. Uh, let me know. That's that's what I, I'm saying. I, th I think these guys are playing that game. You know, fair is fair is fair. I, I, I honestly think that they, they stirred up a lot of fear. That's what it looks like. I'm looking at the grass right now. You can see them. We haven't broken that A wave. The previous A wave has always been the resistance. We haven't broken that. 
the C wave, the gamma, the gamma wave, A, B, C, you can call it, or alpha, beta, gamma, which, you know, is Greek. So, we haven't broken it. We, we still, we're still in the same uh, uh, three-wave trend, except with a, a, a slight change. We have not broken the alpha wave down. To call this a real bear market. So I find this interesting because I could see how they use it. They're, they're moving the market to generate fear, apprehension, and get people to make mistakes. Now, a lot of people here, I'm pretty sure, probably panicked and dumped over here, thinking this was going to crash. Or they put in stop losses at the next level of resistance and these guys tagged it just a little bit below and got all of that cheap coin and if that turns out to be true I'm starting to understand that these guys are more invested in the psychological game to make you make a mistake with your finances they're playing, they're playing a game people, you gotta realize that they prey on your emotions because that's all they have to really make a buck off of you is your emotions. There's no other way to reach you as another trader on a platform unless they tip your emotions. They have to do it that way. You, see, you, see, you understand what I'm saying? <clears throat> so the A wave, B wave is still intact. It's just been interrupted. But I don't don't be surprised if you see a nice punch up. Maybe today, maybe tomorrow, and then we resume to where we left off. And then then we also have July fourth. Usually on the holidays we have a, a huge run up. So these guys might just be creating a, uh, a, a, a fake bear convergence. They haven't broken resistance to the previous alpha wave, which means it's not in a bear market. You break the previous alpha wave <coughs> after after the usual gamma town downturn, which means you break the A wave after the C wave, then that's a bear market. I have no confirmation by looking at this that this is a, turning into a bear market unless this goes below here uh, on on a, out on the new alpha wave, which it hasn't done. It's been interrupted in its journey. That goes to the uh, 20,000 BTC short closing, but it's still where it usually is, it's supposed to be. <coughs> For continued, uh, the continuation to go up. So again, that's how they do it, people. These other, these, these large whales, the only way they can get you to make a mistake, so it, it turns into, your, your loss is their profitability. And the only way they can make you, uh, have a loss is they have to shake you and they have to break you and they're going to use your emotion to do that. That's what I see. I think this is a bear trap. They fooled a lot of people with stop losses and everything. Your stop loss should have been down here. If you put it over here at the top of this last alpha wave, you might have protected you protected your uh, for further loss, but you took a loss altogether. Regardless, you took a loss. Now you can't get, you're gonna, the only way you can get that back is if you buy in and hopefully it goes back up. And then you have to recoup your loss and you're still not in profit. That's all I have to say, people. Be very careful. These guys seem the master of uh, manipulating your emotions to get you to make mistakes.